Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Super 8 Ben. thank you for clicking on this video, we're going to be talking about Nintendo Switch Virtual Console today. So in case you don't know what Virtual Console actually is, it's a service where Nintendo re-releases their older games from their older systems. Now, if you're an outsider you might be wondering why do people want to be playing older games on a newer system? So, just to be brief, pretty much the reason why people want these older games is because, well, we grew up with them. A lot of our oldest memories and some of our most cherished memories are brought up by older games and we want to revisit them and as well as the possibility of being able to visit those games that we never actually had a chance to play. The most wonderful part of the gaming medium is that the fact that you can actually play most games at any time and enjoy them just the same way as they were when they were first released if you're willing to look at them not through a nostalgia glass or sort of oh this game is super old and it looks horrible. Gaming to me has always been about being able to play you know, certain games at any time and be able to have your own unique experiences that you can you know, look back on and all the time I'm remembering stuff I grew up with and it brings a lot of good memories and a lot of happiness to a time when I'm maybe not so happy and that's what I love about you know, growing up, you know, gaining these memories and, and most importantly be able to share those experiences with other people. To a new generation is really really important because gaming came from somewhere and you have to understand the roots of what you love and sometimes you actually end up enjoying more so stuff that came from the past than what we currently have now. This is the very reason why I'm a retro gamer and why I love you know, playing games from yesteryear from over you know, 10 or 20 years even. and. It's just nice to be able to go to a time when DLC and downloads weren't really a thing. You just play a game out of the box and not have to worry about anything. So a good example of these consoles that didn't have such problems are the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, the Nintendo 64, the GameCube and even the Wii. People in general just love revisiting these types of consoles because it means that they can go back to a time when things weren't so horrible like what we have now. And we can talk about some consoles that could come back for your Nintendo Switch and I think this would be a great way for Nintendo to help pan out, you know, bigger releases, newer stuff and also be able to, you know, fill that gap a lot of people feel when they can't play older games on their newer console. Okay, now that we have that history lesson out of the way, now we can actually talk about the systems that people want to come to Nintendo Switch and the possibilities and how that could actually work. Nintendo is no stranger to actually, you know, re-uploading their older releases for systems like the Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Wii U and Nintendo Switch seems to be getting some good arcade games from the Neo Geo and that can show that the Switch is more than capable of playing like NES and Super Nintendo era games and the fact that we have really graphically intensive games from like 2017, 2016 and even maybe older years it kind of shows that you know we can play games from Nintendo 64 for example but not actually the GameCube because I've been thinking about the GameCube and the compatibility issues with some things like the shoulder buttons and I just don't think that the GameCube could work unless Nintendo makes specialized Joy-Cons. But the problem with you know making new Joy-Cons is that new developers or older developers have to support them possibly because Nintendo wants these things to appeal to as wide an audience as possible but there is one other method which isn't very portable and that's the whole point of Nintendo Switch and that is if you could use the GameCube adapter from Super Smash Bros Wii U which you may probably don't have but Nintendo could re-release if they really felt like it and what's funny about the GameCube adapter is the fact that it actually does already work with Nintendo Switch and the dock but the shoulder buttons don't work unless you fully press them in and this could be a sign, a hidden sign that Nintendo wants to bring GameCube games to the Switch but they haven't quite thought of how it's going to work portably. It would be a huge bummer if Nintendo did bring over GameCube games but they only worked in the docked mode due to the GameCube adapter and Nintendo were lazy and they didn't make Joy-Cons that worked with the GameCube games. But this poses a narrow problem with you know other games other than GameCube and you know sort of switch games in general. As for the other systems like the NES and Super Nintendo they could totally work but you know again we have the analog sticks as the main feature on the switch instead of the d-pad and it could still work pretty well but again Nintendo should make specialized Joy-Cons or you could use like the 8-bit though controllers but Looking back at the systems like the Wii and the Wii U, the controls worked just fine for those consoles even though they didn't have like sort of the original layouts and that isn't really a major problem for Nintendo Switch anyway if they just sort of port those control systems over like how they did in those systems. 
But whatever games do end up coming to Nintendo Switch Virtual Console, I will look forward to playing them because I know that whatever it does actually come over will actually look a lot better on Nintendo Switch's, you know, sort of little mini tablet because the screen's a lot smaller, the resolution's going to look a lot better. And if you play any old game on a big screen nowadays, you know what I'm talking about. It's all a little bit blurry and a little bit sort of blocky looking, but on a smaller screen, Nintendo Switch Virtual Console games will actually look really good and hopefully a little bit more vibrant than they originally did. So guys, that's really all I have to say about the future of Nintendo Switch Virtual Console and how I see it actually going. The future is very bright for Nintendo Switch and I'm looking forward to what's coming next and as well as what we're going to be getting with the Virtual Console in general. I'm pretty happy to be able to revisit certain Nintendo titles and also be able to actually beat certain Nintendo games because if I be honest with you, there's a lot of games in my backlog that I have never got around to beating just due to the length of certain games and also what I'm currently trying to work on. And just working in general, it's just difficult getting around to playing stuff nowadays for myself. But if you guys have any thoughts, do leave them in the comments section below. In this part of the video, I'm going to be sort of promoting some other things I've been working on. If you guys can check out my Facebook group that I've been working on called the Super 8-Bit Network, there will be a link in the description below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, but only do that if you want to.